Hello, welcome to Texture Map. In this session, we will discuss about the process through which we can uh, put our RPG3 code into debug. And we are not going to use STR ISDB here. We will use the same approach as we use for putting the uh, program into debug for the RPG LA tag. Okay, so firstly, I will show you how we usually go with uh, the debug operation in RPG LA program, and then we will see like how we how we'll uh, put our RPG code uh, with the same approach. Okay, so I will show you the program. So I have created two program. First one is new PGM that is written in uh, modern language or modern RPG LA RPG LA four or uh, my another program is old program that is written in normal or old rpg okay so now i will show you the source so here i am just uh, printing one text on the screen that is shermit and then i am setting my record as last record and then i will uh, then the program is uh, ended so now i will show you how we can put the uh, rpg or rpg4 program into debug so to put that program into debug what we will do we will uh, take option 14 and take uh, then take f4 now press f10 page down and so before uh, for uh, putting our uh, program into debug mode we have to firstly compile that program with source so to uh, here i am showing you how we can compile the program with source so to compile the program with show uh, with source you have to take the debugging uh, debug debugging views as star source so just change it as a star source now press enter select y so now my object is uh, created with the star source or we have uh, compiled our program with source so for after that you have to run the command you have to run the command str dbg f4 now put the program name here that is new new pgm then library name that is shermit1 and then uh, here we have to change this option update production while uh, production files to star yes so just press uh, enter star yes and now print press enter so once you hit enter here it will take some time and then it will go to the debug screen and on that screen we can easily put uh, our breakpoint and then we uh, we will uh, we can directly yeah so here in this screen we can set the breakpoint on line number one now press f10 and call the program so whenever we call the program it will came to the uh, the program will be opened in the debug mode so call new pgm enter so here we can see that the program came into the debug mode and from here we can take f10 f10 to see the uh, line by line process of our program so this is the simple way through which we can put our uh, rpg program into debug now if i do the same process for the rpg3 program or rpg type program then it will not work because there are some difference between uh, the steps of putting our sources into debug for RPG and RPG LE. So how we can uh, put the RPG source into debug. Now we will see that. So for uh, ending the de debugging, we will use the command end dbg. And now I will show you the steps that we can use uh, to put our uh, RPG3 program into debug without using str isdb we will direct we will use the same command that is str dbg okay so for that just take option 14 here now press f4 press f10 and here we have to use this option that is source listing option take f4 here now from here we we will not select this star source we will select SCR SRC DBG source debug okay so just select this option star SRC DBG now press enter press enter again now press select one and enter so here we have uh, 
we have compiled our program successfully uh, with source okay now just use the same command strdbg f4 program name that is old pgm library name that is shermit1 and in the previous program like for the rpg le or rpg4 source code we only change this option that is update production file to star yes so here we will also change this option but along with this we will also change this option that is opm source level debug to star yes if we will not do this then it will not uh, came to the debug option so after changing these two options we can press enter and now it will take some time but it will came to the debugging screen and from there we will simply use the same process that we use for the RPG and our program will be executed in debug mode so now here I will use the br1 command to set my breakpoint on line number one then press f10 then call my program old pgm so here we can see that our program is in debug mode okay so in uh, as the old program is written in the fixed format so here i am using the c spec but still we have uh, used the strdbg command to put our source into that debug mode okay so by taking f10 we can easily use uh, we can easily check all the line and process that we have executed for our program and to terminate the debug mode we will use the same command and dbg so uh, so mainly today we have to see the difference or the different steps of debugging our source uh, either it is written in rpg or rpg4 language or uh, it is a it is of type of rpg or rpg3 so this this one is the old technique or old programming pattern rpg3 and this is the new one but uh, for both the sources we can use the same command strdbg to put our sources into debug mode yes uh, for rpg3 we have any one another option also that is strisb but uh, that is also not that much of user friendly that's why we use the strdbg process to put our program into debug uh, we will also see that strisdb uh, method in the upcoming session but for now we will uh, mainly focus for the new and updated uh, process to put the source uh, onto debug so yeah so that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will see some other topics so thank you for watching tech